Hey everyone, welcome again to another interesting lesson in this Tosca automation course. Today we are going to talk about a new identification mechanism provided by Tosca. Now, until now, all our controls which we have used in earlier sessions have been identified by the properties present in the web application. But what if two controls are present in a web page which have got similar properties? And you cannot find a unique property to identify a particular control. Now, this is a very common scenario which you will face while automating any web application. So, Tosca provides you a way of identifying your controls in different ways. So, identifying by properties is just one mechanism. There are many other mechanisms which is present in Tosca in order to help you to identify controls uniquely on the web pages. So, let's look. At an example on how a control can look similar to another control having the same properties and why you cannot identify it uniquely using the properties so for this I have gone to google.com and if you look here there is a button called Google search right so if we type anything here and now we want to click on this Google search button right so this is our scenario a very simple scenario but what will happen is uh, when you try to automate this you will find that Google search is not unique now how I can tell I will show it in Tosca but before that I can also show it using the inspect element right so when I do a inspect on this and I can show you using the properties that this particular value or this button is not unique right so let's see uh, so this is the input class right and it has got a value Google search uh, you can see there is a name uh, which looks like a unique right and let's try and use it okay so I'm going to manually type this uh, X path so that we can see that this is not a unique control right so I'm going to say at name equals btnk right um, and ideally this should be identified using this x path but if you look carefully there are one of two controls using the same x path right so if although it's not visible on this page there are two controls having the same properties which are exactly similar so it's very difficult to uniquely identify this google search button right now one way is you can use the index right index of this button to identify this the other way around is to use a anchor now anchor is basically a control which is present uh, within the range of this particular control which you are trying to identify right so it's basically a relationship with this button Right, anything which is unique uh, within the range of this particular button, right? So I can either use this text box as an anchor, or I can use this another button. I am feeling lucky as the anchor for this particular button, right? When we come to Tosca, okay. So let me go ahead and uh, scan this module and show it to you how it looks like. So. I am going to create another folder here. So let's go ahead and scan our application. So right click on the folder and select scan, select application. Now select the application which you want to scan for us. It is the Google Chrome uh, with the Google web page. So select that and click on scan. Now this opens uh, the basic. A view window where I can select my controls and add to my module right so I'm going to select this text box and this Google search button right now once I do that you will see a orange highlighted bar on the Google search button right and that will tell me that this particular button is not unique right so this item was not uniquely selected by Tosca using the properties which are present on the web page now to look a bit deeper we need to go to the advanced window right to the advanced view 
where we get all the different controls which are present on this web page with their properties okay now as this item is not unique our first attempt should be to add more properties right to make it unique so let's try to add some more properties to see whether we can make this control unique using additional properties right so let's select type and value but as you see even adding these two properties is not making this control unique right in situations like this as i explained there are other ways of identifying a particular control right so if i go to the advanced view on the top menu you will see uh, identify by option and uh, this is the properties uh, option which we are using right identifying controls by properties but tosca provides you with different other mechanisms okay so one is identify by anchor it also provides you identify by image and identify by index now we are going to talk about how we can identify controls by image and index but your second option after properties should always be anchor right so let's go ahead and select this and you will see uh, on the right side there is a window called identify by anchor now tosca will sometimes automatically select a anchor control for you right so it has got this relative algorithm and there are different options here right so we are not going to go deep into this algorithm uh, which tosca uses but for just for your knowledge um, you can select auto always and it will automatically select a uh, anchor control for you or you can also choose shortest path and coordinate right so it will um, try to find a uh, anchor control based on three different algorithms but i have selected auto right uh, so it is not able to identify automatically a uh, anchor control um, at the same time i can add my own anchor control right so the easiest way is to just uh, drag a particular control into this text box okay so i have dragged this i am feeling lucky button into this anchor control and here you will get the message that the target control was successfully identified right and we can also add another anchor control right so you can just click on select on screen and select that particular control to add uh, as your anchor control so we can have multiple anchor controls if it is not able to identify with a single control okay now if you see on this uh, google search button uh, the message has changed to select item is unique and that orange bar is also disappeared which means all our controls are now unique in this module and we can go ahead and create our test case right so let me go ahead and save this and close this window so that will create my module here and i'm going to rename this to something uh, useful uh, which is google search right and we are going to create a test case now okay so i have created a new folder here i am going to add a test case called google search and then i am going to add my test step which is basically the module so i'm going to search my google search module i am going to double click on this so that it can add that right and here i'm going to enter some text say tosca right and here i'm going to click on this so um, i can select the click option here right so it's going to enter tosca into the text box and it is going to click on it Okay, so that's that's our scenario so let's go ahead and run this for now and see if it's working or not so it's going to type tosca into the text box it's going to click on the google search button and it is going to display the results right so this is how uh, you can identify controls using an uh, anchor control if there are scenarios where you are not able to identify uniquely any control using all the properties present on the screen right so this is another way of identifying your controls so that's all about uh, how to identify controls in tosca using the anchor property or anchor control 
uh, hopefully this was useful. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, all the different mechanisms which are still present uh, in Tosca to identify controls like identify by image and identify by index. So keep watching and do subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll uh, bring up another new Tosca lesson next Friday. Until then, keep learning and have a nice day.